Thank you. Hello anyone we are watching now or later, Helene here, along with Akir. And, and welcome to uh, apparently <laughs> uh, an account link with Dishonored 2. Okay. Uh, uh, Hila. Yeah. Hmm? Hila, you forgot the third person here. Yeah. And uh, a last minute entry as well. Hi, I'm Ram. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and other than that, welcome to Dishonored 2, number, uh, our first video on this. And yeah, I've been looking forward to this, because I have not played a single minute of this game. It's, well, being in the menus doesn't count as play, I'd say. <laughs> so yeah, I know absolutely nothing about what is going to happen with the story with this. So I'm looking forward to finding out. 
Yeah, I'm kind of curious as well. There is a tutorial, and not taking tutorials have bitten us in the, in the ass a bit, especially with uh, Barrow Trauma recently, which uh, some friends of mine started uh, playing. So uh, let, you let's go into the freaking seal, tutorial. Did you seal yourself into the hull of a ship once? It, with the, uh, yeah. One second. And apparently the game crashed. That's... Uh, <laughs> That's okay, foreboding. look, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, uh... That was unexpected. You think a game that is less than 10 years old like that would not crash on entering the freaking tutorial. So that might not be a great sign. Uh, even less of a great sign is that apparently you can't skip these. <sighs> okay. Come on, game. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into some way of getting rid of that. Uh, okay, take two. Tutorial. Let's see. Dunwall, 18, no, 1837, 1852. As Emily called Wind Ruler of the Empire of the Isles, you have numerous enemies. Your father is Lord Crovertano. So, <laughs> outright confirming that. Infamous Royal Protector and Spy Master. That's an upgrade, though not surprising, seeing as all the stuff he did <clears throat> during the, the first game. In the years since you took the throne, uh, Corvo has spent many hours training you in the arts of stealth and combat. Okay. Um, I remember please? training with yeah. my father in the years after. Yeah, we really need to look into something for more permanent screen sharing, so I don't have to constantly uh, redo that when a game crashes. The rat plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. Okay. Hey, it's... the game's working. Oh. Okay, the frame rate is a bit low. I already lowered the visuals quite a bit, so looks like we'll have to lower that even more. Hopefully this doesn't require a restart. Okay, it doesn't. Let's see. Still the some sounds and smells choppiness. of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm going to have to drop it to medium then. Which should still look good enough, I'd hope, for stream. It usually does. Yeah, now it's at a steady 60. Let's see. Dangerous current, no swimming beyond this point. And yeah, there we have the whaler ships. And, and the this, whales! Yeah, in this universe, whales are some sort of Aldrich demons or something. What and there's Corvo. Does father have in store for All right, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Nothing of too much interest there. Okay. Luckily, these are not the type of rats to go eating the flesh off of your bone. Okay. Got a slide under to get them. There we go. Hmm. Still seeing some FPS dips, but not below 50, it seems. Okay. That's good. Uh, wait. I already got this first. Bloody <coughs> obstacle. Bloody head. What? Did it. That was so loud in my headset. What's next? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Did that big ball of me like. Yeah, Rom jump scared me again. <laughs> it's typical swimming yeah, controls. They kind of find it funny. I rarely get jump scared by games, but by Rom often. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and all he needs to do is sneeze or something as simple. <laughs> hey, chain climbing was in the first game as well. Wonder, does that make Rom a master Only of horror? I could spend every day running and jumping. Oh. Now to test my agility. Okay, sprint jumping. You 
You've learned well. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Okay. Stealth. Press C to toggle stealth mode, crouching down and walking silently. Your visibility in stealth mode is greatly reduced. Stay behind cover and out of sight to avoid being detected. Enemies are slower to detect you in stealth mode, especially when you are further away from them, above them, or at the edge of their peripheral vision, in shadow, though this matters more at distance. Stealth mode enables you to take cover behind desks and tables. To lure enemies away, distract them by throwing an object such as a bottle or getting a, uh, or setting the alarm on a clock. Okay. Still nothing much changing. Okay. If you can. Father's always on about the value so of So he wants us to sneak up on him. A bit, a bit of a mirror, basic. I saw that FPS dip into the red there, so I think I'll lower it even further. Lower it into very low. Let's see if that works. Uh, that might drop it a bit too low. Okay, fair enough. So, something that might also help is with Task Manager selling this game to... Okay, it's taking 100% of CPU. But zero of this, uh, hmm, okay, let's see, find the game in the details, set priority to high, that should help with everything. Let's, let's hope see. so. Funny. I've been about to talk about Dishonored, I used to hear them talk positive about the first one, but... I had almost nothing about people's opinion on the second. Okay. Yes, I don't know if that's a good or bad sign. Uh, one. Get behind the enemy, catch them by surprise, and choke them. Could be gosh. because uh, people want him to avoid spoilers and such. Okay, it's control this time. True, but you should people tend to speak about how good and such he is even without that's spoiling. My girl. I, I keep expecting it to go into a freaking cutscene. Okay. Now he wants us to, to steal his key. line of sight. His right still at low FPS. Didn't see anything. Okay. Don't make any sound. Could it be, could it just be that the game is just badly optimized or something? Hidden like a secret, quiet as the sunset. Hmm. And also, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Hmm? You haven't Remember, failed massively yet. You wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. I mean, this is a training area. Let's just wait until we are in the actual game. Yeah. True. Also, where the hell are the... There's the subtitles. Okay. Yeah, and also, if I get wrong, do you have your popcorn ready? Still low mm -hmm. FPS. I have my pocket and ready I... for uh, when their failing starts. <laughs> nice to hear that people have <laughs> such confidence in my abilities. <laughs> also, like in the first <laughs> one, I'm swapping these controls over. Yeah, it's, it's honest, going to get way too fucking annoying. Let's be honest here, you don't have confidence in your own ability. Go turnbuckle. I think I want to prove us wrong. Okay, so we're going to get more environmental stuff. Hopefully. Hmm. Time for some more weapons and combat training. So why Let's does his voice sound so familiar? Up, shall we? Okay. Yes. Come on. That's my daughter. When someone okay. swings a sword at you, block. Yeah, blocking also pretty basic. Control again. Good. I, I might well swap done. that to a different mouse button. Very good. You've got a natural instinct for fighting. If you time your Pardon? block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. Block with your blade. You're quick. Ah. I'm getting, missing the timing. I'm, I, is that his assassin sword? It looks like it. 
You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Okay, when an enemy is off balance. Okay. This allows for more. <clears throat> this would allow for more. Okay, well, why? Off balance, why are deliver a fatal blow. To give an option for more non lethal. The, the FPS just keeps dropping and dropping for some reason. Okay. Screw it. Lowest it'll go. It could be that there's something in here that is only. Uh, Let's see, it is only go... Oh, that might be it. Uh, let's set that to 60. Let's see, triple buffering, that is off, that is off. Uh, V-Sync is on? Let's put that on balance. V-Sync... V-Sync is often annoying in that it can either destroy or... You can only put it on or... Okay, uh, half off, okay. But it turns adaptive resolution all the way up. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to tinker around with this maybe more later, but for now. Okay. Go for the fatality. Oh. Okay, yeah, that seems to yeah, now we things are running at sixty. Feel better knowing you can take care of yourself. When trouble does finally come, you're ready to fight. And that puts us back here. Okay. Dish on a red, part two. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing this here was what was yeah, what was what was messing with this FPS the most. So let's put it up to medium at the very least. Yeah, supply. Hmm. Okay, and then we start with the campaign. Let's see. Okay, and the, what the heck? clockwork robot of sorts. <laughs> Definitely a clockwork robot of sorts. Okay, multiple saves, always nice in games. And let's go with medium. And that's the same as before. Oh, well, 1837, 1852. I remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. <laughs> Were we doing the tutorial? Really, Bing? If you're going Sounds to give. and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my huh? city. What training oh. regimen does father have in store for me today? All right, Majesty. Okay, let's, let's just rush through then. And yeah, the FPS is doing way better now. If I get going fast enough, I can slide beneath that. See? Yeah, at least we can speed run this now. After that, I've got poor popcorn today. But seriously, why does his voice sound so freaking familiar? What's next? Is that the yeah, same we... voice actor from last uh, game? Yeah, his... last time he didn't he speak. He actually did speak, I remember. I forgot, but we had very limited lines, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure he was only grunting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, I think his lines were at the very beginning of the game, and that's it. Mm, I, even that, I think that was only guard speaking. And I mean, yeah, like, seriously, game. Like if you're putting if you're putting in the option to do the tutorial separate, <laughs> count it when you're here starting the main game as well. You've learned well. And Let's yeah, still at sixty, it seems. Uh, as we already saw this. Okay. Just try and get through this as quickly as possible. And if you're quick enough with the chokehold. Yep. Uh, these wells are really demonic looking when you see their actual That's faces and such. Yep. Don't let me hear you or see you. Yes, yes. Lightning bolt is how. 
Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. How much they are aware of you. Why fight when you can Let it fill up it. and... Uh, yeah, you'll get struck. As a fun fact. I did some investigation and... Wonder if the ancestor of sperm whales had teeth like those uh, whales here. Okay. Just as big. And they actually compete, had competition with the uh, Megalodon. And may have even eaten them. Time for okay. some more weapons and still go on eat the each FPS. Other. Oh dear. So hmm? let's try very high. Yes. Combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Okay. <laughs> yes. One, two, three. Sweetheart, that's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Okay. Block with your blade. One. Good. Two. Actually, well done. I can just hold it up as well. Very good. You've got a natural instinct for fighting. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. Okay, Corvo. Nope. Come on. on. You're okay. quick. Smart move. Yeah, block That'd when they start their the attack. That is when you'll parry. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Yeah, this this will be a very nice addition since. Oh, come on! It'll allow to. Uh, It'll allow non-lethal takedowns even in combat. So yeah, or if you're you going for no a guy, kills, you try to choke him out, and then some other guy immediately slashes up at him when instead of you by accident. Balance, you can land a lethal counterattack. Okay. There we go. Hmm. I feel better knowing you can take care of yourself. He looks younger, the actually. Does finally come. Than uh, in the previous game. Fight. But that could also be because he was uh, he wasn't shaven for six months in the jail. Yeah, the way he he does look a little bit more white in the beard here. Yeah. Let's see. A long day in Dunwall. Today marks the anniversary of the death of em Empress Jessamine Caldwin, assassinated 15 years ago. Visitors from across the Empire of the Isles have journeyed to Dunwall Tower for the occasion. Okay. What the? What? Someone drinking soda? No, I'm Why drinking a milkshake. The anniversary of the assassination. Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall. A paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now? We face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, father. 
Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish your mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Serkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. Disgrace Luca Abel, Duke of Serkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Serkonos offers condolences on this sorrowful day, and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful empress, Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow. Blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Father! Your sword can't steal my heart. Okay. I thought we shot that bitch in a <laughs> in a painting. Apparently she came out of the painting and wants to rule the country. Yeah, that was her plan before, but yeah, it has been 15 years and well you know what the story is with most cases of can <laughs> evil sealed into a can, eventually it'll worm its way out. Okay. So yeah, I'm guessing that's one of the reasons why people just talk less about this game, because from the very start it's filled with freaking spoilers. So yeah, it seems that we have the choice to play as Emily or as Corvo, legendary royal protector to the Empress and figure of infamy from the time of the Rat Plague. And yeah, it would make sense for Delilah to be the one framing us, since, well, she was up to this from the first, it, she was up to this game in the first play, in the, yeah, in the first game. And now she's just uh, making it play from a different angle. And yeah, ruler of the Empire of the Isles, trained in stealth and combat by her father, Corvo Atano. I've not heard much about this game, but I have heard that it's 
uh, more fun to play as Emily. So also that can I spoil one thing? Uh, if it's only a minor thing. It's a yeah, minor I... thing. Go ahead. Okay, canonically, Emily is the player character in this game. And uh, your mic is giving feedback again. Okay. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. I can hear you. Cast you in cold marble. Over time, you will come to love me. Perhaps someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? It'll be all, Captain Mayhew. No! Well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. throne room. Father! Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. It does make sense. I'm guessing if we yeah, if we picked Corvo, then Emily would have been turned to marble, or petrified. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah, she has more... Re Actually, she has no much, not much reason to hate Corvo specifically. One of the good families. And now that he's helped the rightful empress take the throne... The Ramses are going to be back in fashion in Dunwall. You'd be smart to remember that. Okay. Seems there might be a small audio uh, error on my end, and that sometimes the audio doesn't seem to be coming from the right direction, but it might be just the game being screwy with 5.1 surround sound again when run through a headset. So I'll just have to fix that next time. Let's see. Ship launch protocol. Empress. After the Royal Protector's shakedown crews will launch the ISS Jessamine Caldwin just before the anniversary of your mother's passing, pending your approval, of course. On the platform, we'll have a bottle of King Street 8 brandy tied to a long tether that you will release to swing out against the hall. What you say during the ceremony is, of course, up to you, but here are some ideas intended to serve as food for thought. May a brisk wind hurry you to your shores near, far, and fair. May you accept your crew from the perils of the terrible ocean. May you always sail for crystal, through of hearts, and homeward bound. Yours faithfully, Advisor Wainwright. Okay. Advisor Helmsworth. Or Helmswater. Empress, we face yet another murder, and I cannot remain silent on this matter. Strange is it not that all the victims have openly opposed you? Uh, if not strange, then oh so very convenient. Uh, is there anything you wish to tell me, Majesty? How can I be an advisor if you don't include me in these most sensitive of endeavors? I feel I must be the only person in Dunwall who doesn't know the truth about this crown uh, killer. Don't leave me out in the cold. I remain. Your trusted servant and advisor, Leonora uh, Helmswater. Okay. Uh, yeah. It wouldn't be a dishonored game if there wasn't some treason going on. And that's a steamship. That very much looks like a steam. Yeah, that is definitely a steamship, even if we can only see... Uh, wait, no. I see... Rigging or for sales? Is that some sort of hybrid? That it would help if we had more to look. Hybrids were common. Oh wait, the... Try climbing we're supposed out the to window. get out. <laughs> I was just trying to <laughs> jump into the windowsill, but no, that is how we get out. <laughs> okay, a moment more that we 
look around. I wonder what they felt the whole way of saying she is this long lost sister that just felt. Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? I need time to think. I'd say amateurish. Like, yeah. who the heck would believe that? And then Apparently everybody enough people because they get the money. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that. Uh, I'm not sure who he got and who the trader is yet. It could be the advisor, or no, that, that sounded more like a, a woman's name. So, yeah, who the hell is he? Uh, they're probably using him as a. Uh, yeah, the inside man. Oh, he's obviously the inside man, but you're going to use him. How many yeah. times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything. You're going just to use changed. him to give the the claim credit, like saying that he he has found the evidence or such in the archives or other such bullshit. Let's see. Where do we go? Try not to slip down the stairs. Uh, yeah, we want to go down, but not the fast way. Unless you happen to have a rope and knowledge of repelling. Uh, can't squeeze through that. But very obviously, we're not supposed to go this way, but there's a sheer wall cliff here as well. And I am curious what uh, Delilah did with Corvo's mark. I thought I heard one of the cats at the door, but no. No, I think that was one of the perks in the game. Yeah, I, I presume she stole his power somehow. And seriously, where the hell do I need to go? Or can I even go anywhere here? Or is it just Probably a using dead end? grandfather clock. I used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then. That's a, very much doubt that's going to lure someone in, but it's the only option we have at the moment. Can hide under her desk. Hmm. Okay. The Hound Pits Pub. I can't believe it, but I actually miss those times. Hmm. Yeah, of course they locked it. It'd be pretty stupid These for them not to. Are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. And yeah, it's easy to guess what uh, these guys took as their bribe. Just plain old money. And it seems that they dragged Alexei's uh, corpse off that way. Hmm. Actually, if there's one window we can open, we can open another. Oh dear. Oh, hello. Lila is some sort of witch. How is this possible? Lady Emily, you're all right. I was wor Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is. He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexi, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Did she, did she kill these two? Or were Apparently. these just loyalists? Either yeah, they're loyalists or she offered them while having a sword to her guts. Hello. Audience request. Captain Mayhew, you don't know me, but uh, you've got to tell the road protector that I have urgent need of his time. I'm carrying a message that has to be delivered face to face. Tell him I'm working with Anton Sokolov, an old friend. All the boats are being sent away from the docks, but I'll delay as long as I can. Tell Lord Corvo, uh, yeah, Lord Corvo, to find me there. My ship is called the Dreadful Whale. Okay, there's the safe room, but that was going to need that signet, isn't it? I need my signet yeah. ring. Hmm. I think many of those people joined her but I knew she was witch and yeah for a lot of you got to know she was very feared by many yeah power money uh, or fear that's typically 
this three that it comes down to for uh, yeah well, bribing they, someone. Well, well they backstab you, really so you might as well as well backstab them. So I looked it up uh, earlier during the cutscene. Uh, that's the voice actor Stephen Russell, aka Garrett from the Thief series. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and apparently also the Mr. Handys in Fallout 76. Hmm. Go figure. <laughs> All right. No then. Well, they backstabbed you, and now time to backstab them. Yeah. To assassinate or perform non lethal attacks to uh, limit enemies. Just before I do that, though, and wait, there's. It's now tutorials, plural. Okay. First off, though, uh, where is it? Not that. Okay, whatever we can sheath our swords. There. Mouse 5, that'll be a lot easier. Oh. oh well. Okay, let's try to go for a low chaos uh, run as much as we can. Yeah. Okay, but snap his neck. Okay, throw him over the throw him over the <laughs> over the ledge. <laughs> mm, I'll throw him, but not over that ledge. Now let's see. Royal Protector, historical record of government positions and ranks, addendum, Corvartano, accused of assassinating the Empress he was sworn to protect, how unlikely he would not only overcome this shame, uh, but then redeem himself so fully as you know, to be named Royal Protector to yet another Empress. Those of us at the College of Histories were too fast to use pen against him. Uh, yet us, uh, let us not blame historians, for the evidence against Atano was nearly overwhelming. First, he is the only Royal Protector to ever have been born of an isle other than Crystal. His foreignness is not itself a crime, but added to the suspicions, the most forgiving of which was that he lacked the capacity to fully understand his duties. Uh, second, he was uh, caught quite red-handed with bloodied weapon kneeling over the body of Empress Jessamine. Of course, it turns out that even this damning evidence was part of a clever plot to destroy the Empress and remove Atano from interfering from the ongoing plans of the Lord Regent's conspirators. And while I admit to publishing what are now clearly incorrect conclusions regarding Corvo Atano, I will not, as some of my colleagues have done, resign my position at our, venerable, uh, our ver veritable organization. But instead, I reassert myself to the endeavor of weeding out fact uh, from fiction um, to produce uh, the most salient histories possible. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's gonna have fun trying to remember the part where Corvo made a deal with the devil to get superpowers. One night in the body house. One night. Now, come yeah. I'm not outside that devil. It was very... Is it to be a neutral force that wants some sort of balance? Also very curious. Oh, that kiss. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem... He gives people powers, and what they do, uh, he leaves them up to that. Uh, some, of course, use that for evil, uh, like Granny Rags, and others use it for good, like Corvo did, if you at least go for low chaos. Yeah, and seems to like it. And some it just have good. them and accidentally fuck everything up, like me, whenever playing anything involving stealth. 
<laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Do remember the outset seems to show very much dislike for people to make sacrifices for and for and such uh, like the, the dog occultist towards him. He seems to dislike it a lot. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why he's left uh, Sokolov hanging. <laughs> Blue balling the guy for well at least two decades. I'm guessing by now, unless he stopped doing that shit. <laughs> the throne room blocked off. We should have the time we need to <laughs> stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I have searched the room. Kill him. Chambers. Kill so the traitor. Lock myself in this. No, no, we invite him for pancakes and tea. For you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh, this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did uh, you know that? I spent my child right. playing with the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. And very soon, we'll be back at the top, Captain. He's looking to become emperor. Ramses' family Herp. fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's my fault, that's beyond me. Nope. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. Let's see. We got a we got a mission hint there or mission clue. Let's see. Mortimer Ramsey could be locked inside the save room, which contains rations and water. Uh, there is a secret passageway in the royal chambers that leads to the streets, but you need to ring to open it. New captain who goes by the name of Ma uh, Megan uh, Foster or Megan Foster. Megan Foster. All right, uh, if it's in Dunwalls, uh, okay, that's that's unrelated to this jackass. Hmm. Yeah, I I think let's go for locking him in. We'll want uh, we'll want his ass available for prosecution and torture afterwards. Oh, you know who you did with the wood was? I will tell you, two young bow. John Cena! I can swear I I would shout, but I don't want to blow your ears off or disturb my neighbors. Let's see, nowhere higher to hide. I, I, Keep your eyes peeled. If I knew he'd be coming, I'd have hidden his body somewhere. And now he's on a search pattern. Oop. And he has friends. Right. Whatever then. There's no one here. Hmm. Wait, Pico. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> typically when you can lean in a game, that's about it. They don't let you adjust your view further. Uh. Okay, he's making a beeline. Yeah, of course, he's a greedy, jealous ass. So, of course, he's going to be lying. A bit of feedback there. Hmm. Okay, a map of the... of one of the regions, at least, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I was going to say a bit about this earlier, or at least was thinking it earlier. But with the, the heads of those automatons, yeah, it's very, very obvious that it's not just met technology running those golems. Because those were very obviously avian skulls. Ah, clever. Maybe designed by Sokolov. So yeah, they're technomagical guards, I'm guessing. Emily's reign, the seal of the Empress. Okay. Let him do the dirty work. And go in before let's... the door locks itself. Ramsey has my signet ring. Because you kind of need to go out this oh, way. So many nights in here after the rat plague. A foreigner. No, he still has the ring. Oh, sorry, and I, I think I just pickpocketed out of him. No, you pickpocketed some coins. To keep her yeah, let's I see. Finally, finally restore the family to its proper station. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably have to choke him out then. 
Stab him. Stab him. Some of this money could have Stab saved him. my family. Or a... <laughs> Shut your trap. Maybe you should blame your parents. This won't leave my hand again. Okay, we could still kill him. Let's see. I have a feeling I'll <laughs> need these. Spare him. Yeah, let's. Oh, hello. Fancy. Yeah, the heck is. Should I even ask? I'm gonna assume Sokolov made it. Yeah, if it's weird as all hell, it's Sokolov. And hello. There is always one help against Delilah. Even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. Okay, I was expecting a load of these gold ingots, not these fats. <laughs> that, that's the big chungus of gold. This could Just be handy. grab enough gold to last you. <laughs> Yeah. And I'll leave these open just so this jackass can find them when he wakes up. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, Sophie. This is, Sophie was written in words on one of them. Sophie, Imperial... Imperial Reserves. Imperial Reserves. <laughs> God. Hello. It... Okay, those are drawings that she made during the first game. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell. I'm guessing that... Who, who is this supposed to be? Is that supposed to be uh, Jessamine? Hmm. Maybe. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't look as look like accurate, her. I think. Also, you might want to lock the door so you yeah. can still lock them in. Let's see. Letter from Wyman. Emily, I didn't want to wake you uh, this morning, but you'll forgive me <clears throat> since we must have said it goodbye a hundred times yesterday night. The only chance I get to see you with uh, your hair all... Uh, whichever way is while you're asleep. As soon as the sun rises, I'll, uh, put, uh, you'll put on your empress face. It makes me happy that I know your real face, the one that laughs at our silly rhymes. Now, I don't want to go back to Morley, but I'm needed here. Uh, it'll be four months before we see each other again. I'll miss you. And yes, I'll bring some. Um, I'll bring. I'll bring you some white loaf tobacco uh, for your hookah, Lord Kovo. If you're reading this letter as per uh, your royal protector functions, know that I am joking and perfectly aware that the white leaf tobacco is forbidden in Crystal. Kovo <laughs> uh, totally would read stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. Take care, my darling Emily. Don't go falling from a rooftop. I love you, Wyman. Okay, well, who is this guy? What is Emily Emily's lover? Oh, I was just to make that joke that... You know how some father used to not protect them about the daughters? Corva would be triply so. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Let's see, the golden cat? Uh, <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Caldridge's prison? Uh, no, wait. Uh, it's stuck near it. It is. But she's never been there, I believe. I think that's and that's the tower fun. that she was that she stayed in. Into the Corvo Town, the royal protector in our times, part one. His parents were older at the time of his birth, and his father died in a lumber accident outside the city when Corvo was still young. Around that time, his only sibling, a firstborn sister, moved away to Morley, and the family subsequently lost all contact with her. Only 16, Corvo dazzled the people of Karnaka when he entered and won the annual Blade Verbana. Spectators from all over Sarkonas were, uh, were thrilled to see someone so young and striking from a working class family advance through duel after duel, eventually taking the prize. This unexpected outcome secured Corvo a junior officer ranking in the Grand uh, Sarkonan Guard. <clears throat> As a soldier, he was involved in a number of conflicts against organized criminal groups, rogue city states within Sarkonos, and pirate bands along the chains, uh, a chain of islands radiating east from Sarkonos. Sent from his homeland at the age of 18 by the Duke of Sarkonos, then Theodanus Ab Abel, father of Lucia Abel, Corvo was assigned to serve of the Emperor uh, in Dunwell as a diplomatic gift. His Sarkonan heritage made him a bit of an outsider in Dunwall, but the capital city must have seemed exotic and full of old world mystery. 
or just like <laughs> freaking London, where, where yeah, where it always rains. It seems. A few months after he moved to Dunwell, it is recorded that Corvo received word that his mother had passed away several weeks after his departure from Karnica. Okay, so we. I'm guessing we'll find a lot more on his background through this game. And here we have a map of everything. Okay, that, that is nice. We have Gristal in the middle, Sirkonus at the south, Morley there, and Tivia there. This means okay. the map we saw earlier is this map. Yep. The one we saw in the hall with the few colored marks on top of it. I better take yeah, these. There is only about the islands. And not the other continents. It said S and J health elixir, so it seems that the <laughs> our two knuckleheads are still working together. Oh dear. Whispers from the Void by Barnoli Mulani. Okay. Uh, treat us on the physical existence of that uh, foreign realm. Excerpt. It is a common story. A person has stopped breathing, pinned on their carriage wheels, or some other tragic happenstance, and is thought to be dead. But when the weight is removed, they make a quick recovery. Nonetheless, for a moment or two, this person was lost to us, lost to the world itself. And what did they experience while in this temporary death? Darkness? Nothing nets? No, indeed not. They, they tell us, as so many have before, that they were in a particular place and can describe it vividly. And who among us does not know the place? Have we not now all seen it in our dreams? This place we share in the farthest reaches of our minds. The realm where nothing makes sense, where one is at once both uh, lost and at home. The void. Okay. Has the... Has the rhetoric towards the void turned a bit more neutral, perhaps? Number two. These little glimpses of the void in dreams or described by those awakened uh, from comas are not limited to select few. In my interviews I've gleaned that there uh, is not a single citizen with uh, outside visions at one time or another. This then must be a real place, not folklore or mass delusion. Perhaps it exists deep below the earth or far above it. Perhaps it is right next to us, but hidden. Some trick of the light or wondrous curtain bars us from fully knowing it. And we all but wait for a natural philosopher to unlock the phenomenon to show us how to see it at will. But when so revealed, it will not be a fearsome place any longer, not the distant and special realm described in the myth of the outsider. It will be strange, yes, even unsettling. Nonetheless, it will be a new realm for us to explore and eventually conquer. But new treasures await us there. Are the lakes made of liquid diamond? <laughs> the clouds of weightless silver gas? And what things we would learn? Okay. I kind of... The whole bit of a explore and conquer kind of made me think of... Okay, of like... Why are they gonna go in and just... Take over the place? I think that place is probably uncomfortable. Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsay. The Imperial suite atop Dunwall Tower. Stay put until this is all set straight, Ramsay. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing in 15 years, uh, the overseers might have been weakened, or at least thinned enough. Uh, actually, this looks a lot like that overseer uh, headquarters. Let's see. Delilah and Duke Luca uh, Bell have taken the tower. Dunwall is no longer a safe place for you. Escape the city by meeting with a boat captain down at the docks. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Yeah, Delilah and Corvo never knew who Delilah was. Well, uh... <clears throat> Delilah Hoss and Rose. Corvo never knew who Delilah was? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm blanking on his name for the moment, but yeah, Emily only knew uh, Delilah as a, a play uh, friend in the tower uh, when she was even younger. Still, I b believe. Hmm. Does make she was a maid in the tower at some point, at the least. But I think Corvo never interacted with her after she left the tower. Wait, she was apprentice to the other professor as a painter or something. Yeah. Let's see. Old history textbook, uh, The Whaling Trade. In 1631, Emperor Finley Mor uh, Morgengard commissioned the first fleet of vessels made expressly for the hunting and processing of whales. 
They were powerful by sa- they, yeah, they were powered by sails alone, and so were at the mercy of the winds. Although these whaling ships were small by current standards, Morgengard's fleet established a robust whaling trade we enjoy uh, we still enjoy today. Modern whaling vessels are much larger and use steam power to traverse the seas in search of whales. Did you know that uh, every part of the beast is used? In addition to canned meat and whale oil, there is also a flourishing whalebone trade. Baleen is used in roofing, whale skins are processed into fruit cloth, bladders are made into wine flasks. Um, remind me to not touch the, wa- <laughs> the wine in this place. Even the intestines are carefully, uh, carefully harvested for their uh, precious ambergris, used in many med- medicines and perfumes. So yeah. you're gonna drink that uh, that elixir or what? <laughs> uh, I'm, I think I'm safe from with those uh, if I keep away from the wines. A handwritten note. Emily, half of Morgan Guard's whalers fell uh, to the rough coast uh, east of Morley. You can still see the remains of ships poking out of the water should you ever visit Aaron. Also, there is no mention here that it was Sokolov himself who designed the first steam-powered whaling ships. He, he will tell you about it if you ask, and he's sober. <laughs> so, if you, want, if you don't mind him being a windbag, and he isn't completely wasted. What would my old governess say? Callista would probably tell me to sit up straight and to marry Wyman. <laughs> She'd ask me when the War of the Four Crowns ended. 1625. Okay. Kurt, uh, Custis, Morgan, and the Postlet Chant. Okay. The Pendletons. Oh, no, not all. Two of them, well, probably all three of them are dead by now. Uh, two of them probably died in their own salt mine. Tower of Dunwall. Excerpt of an, uh, uh, yeah, historical examination of Dunwall Tower. For the century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Bristol and the seat of power across all the Isles of the Empire. I get the feeling we've read this one and the previous one in Dishonored 1. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower has withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires, and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. Yeah, we've read this one was in the first game as well. So how much duct tape do you think the Tower of Dunwall is made of? <laughs> Probably even more if they let Sokolov at it. And seeing as there is a lock with his of, of his that is made, uh, there's probably going to be a lot more. Oh, God. Also, uh, before forget, fun fact. People used to... Uh, back in Middle East, in Middle East, the evil times, some people used... Um, the stomach acid of whales as perfume. Uh, of course, why okay. not? And fun fact, one, there was one, I think for Sultan or something, of Turkey or something, I don't remember, somewhere around that area, who was obsessed by overweight women and uh, that sort of way, whale perfume. And uh, he looked so much, he soaked all of his curtains with it. Okay, Which I guess led... he liked them thick. Yeah, but here's a problem here. Uh, it's very flammable. Uh, I can so see where he... you're going with this. Yeah. I, I, if I remember, he did die in, with his entire palace burning down. Well, I guess you could call it a burning passion that he had for them. Yeah, and also... Yeah, there's more. Before that, he actually killed a lot of his brides due to someone told them they were compromised. Apparently someone else has gotten to them, so he has drummed it all in the sea. So... Can we just, like, make this a highlight? Just Drakir's horrible story? (laughs) For the week. Uh, Blame good mythical morning for teaching me that one. If someone doesn't clip it, I'll will afterwards. <laughs> yeah. I probably, as it is, I probably misremember it a little bit. I don't remember it, it was just so bizarre. All right. 
Continuing on then, with Tivia and Sokonos joining the Empire first, it was Morley that resisted longest. Some of the conflicts that arose also necessitate the further fortification of the tower. Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the royal protector position, with each ruler choosing his or, own, er, her, his or her own royal protector after careful consideration. Empress Destiny Caldwell. That, uh, perhaps in retrospect other historians will see how easy it was for us to fall into the trap set by the schemers who managed the assassination of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. By allowing uh, them to write history, it was for years thought that her trusted uh, protector Corvo Otano was also her murderer, a concept, uh, a concept we now know to be utterly false. Yet even after the tricksters themselves were put down, banished or imprisoned, it remained common knowledge that the royal protector was also Jessamine's murderer. How nicely they arranged history for us and how readily we devoured their story. Hungry for each perfect, perfectly cooked morsel, but it is well past time for us to set aside this plate of lies. The schemers were not to be trusted with the Empire or with Jessamine's lives, and, certainly, uh, and they are certainly not to be trusted with the history, uh, with the writing down of accurate histories. Yeah, it, I believe it is a, an unwritten rule among historians to not touch uh, recent events unless uh, until 20 years have passed, because then it's, yeah, it's too recent and there's too little known about it. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to make notes, but then compare them to see, uh, yeah, discrepancies and sense. Wait in 20 years. Did time. that light go green? What the fuck? Oh, wait, that's the light. Oh, dear. Turn right, go look up there. Yeah, that's, that's gonna trick me. <laughs> it looks like a dentist thing or something, or something uh, cyberpunk. But yeah, yeah. Cyberpunk 1852. Oh dear. Oh, there's that tower, I believe. That's been a, a thing in the first game. What the heck? Okay, there's that's the bridge. One fancy away. I should talk chimney. to the captain of that ship. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's with your rich and you own the fucking government. Yeah, but. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm both impressed and very what the fuck am I saying? Do that again. There's always something that surprised me. Snipe them from afar with your pistol somehow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even in a, a world as uh, mystical has done well, there will be bullet drop. I will find a way to undo it. Yeah. Hmm. And lunatics! Oh, there's someone there. Yeah, there's at least we there. won't have to deal with weepers and... Wait, I'm the heck? I think I want to stay away from whatever that is. I think that's whale blood or whatever the fuck they use. Whale, no, whale oil. Whale oil, that's the one. Okay. Drop take down! Take him down! <laughs> oh no. No, well, I'll, I'll show this one since I don't think I, who that was. I don't think I ever showed one in the original game. Uh, where are they? Was that even in the original game? Yeah. Yep. Don't look around. And yeah. just like that. <laughs> I think there was a non-lethal version of it. I think that was the lethal yeah. version, not non-lethal. No, 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 I mean, I think we were about to land on the guy, the non-lethal option showed up. <laughs> I, I missed that then. <laughs> and so oh. it begins, aliens failing. <laughs> and I'll all eat all the popcorn. Was that a ham? I think it no, was... that was bread. Yeah, bread. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, th there certainly wasn't a non-lethal drop takedown in the original game. But if there was here, then I completely the missed it. The Duke's men. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. That's it, we've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. 
You sure? You could just always turn back now. And the heck? What wouldn't I give for a bottle of pear soda? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing there's a bit. Yeah, it, it is a coup. So, yeah. They're probably taking out the loyalists. And every single loyalist has managed to fail the ability to actually win. Yeah, it this does game look like they're reminds me of so outnumbered. much stuff. Oh, God. I think I just noticed a bit of clipping there. And we do not want to go on the rail. Yeah, it looks electrified. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is electrified. Okay, we want us One to drop second. down. I gotta do a thing. Alright. Dumb question, have either one of you ever played Gears of War? No, no. but I've seen a little bit. And I know of it. What a lick spit. Oh, this is gonna be a very confusing video for you guys. Uh oh. Wait, I've, I've seen a this. thing or two about it, but I've never played them. Wait, Hello? found it. Found found the place. Pardon? <clears throat> Forgive him? Stay ready. I want you in place just after the Duke and our new Empress make their appearance. Things will happen fast. Do your part, and there's a share of the spoils for you and the others. Turn on me now, and I'll ask the Duke to send his assassin after your dear old parents. Trust me, the so-called crown killer is the last dinner guest you want in your home. Mortimer Ramsey. Okay, so he's the one behind the crown killer. Uh, you know, the, the Duke is the one behind the crown killer. And what is this assassin, then? It could be one of those robots, or automatons would be the closer word. Okay, just for a moment. I guess need to load it in have, there. He might have several assassins. Let's see. Detection is in the end. Even after you are spotted by enemies, various options are available to you. Kill all the enemies in combat, defeat the enemies non lethally escape and stay out of sight until the enemies give up searching for you. Use powers, gadgets, and trickery to creatively overcome the situation. We don't have any we don't have any of the latter yet. I'm always alert. Always. They don't gotta say it twice. Let's see where there's one of them. And there is one. Let's see. We need to go over that way. I feel like I'm gonna be the devil on your shoulder throughout this entire playthrough. Yep. <laughs> Did that uh, make me the fairy? And they were completely executed in here. Let's see. Oh. Nothing in sight. Let's see then. Can we sneak around somewhere here or is this how we were supposed to go down? Oh, hello. Uh, quick, 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 quick. That's Emily Caldwin! Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. Or, Come oh, on. for fuck's sake, just shoot him. There we go. We can even move around a bit. I was choking. Okay. At the very least, we'll be able to use someone like a, a, a human shield like that. Yeah. yeah. What the heck is this room? I think this is like the a... science. I think this is for the science team. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait. It's either that or they're cooking fish. Oh. Or they're oh. cooking fish. Try four five try four five one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where did How? you see that? Nowhere. I that's just a guess. <laughs> it's just that every game that's big that has a it's just the first code you ever use in in certain games, like fucking oh, I... Bioshock. It's it's a it's a reference, if nothing else. I just made it as a joke. I didn't expect that to be the code. <laughs> I think you're onto something. I think that's a bloody common code in many games. Yeah. Okay. Now that I mentioned, I I think there is. In Bioshock, uh... <clears throat> yeah, the first code you Achieve. use for 451, oh, because oh. in Bioshock the codes are four, have four digits. And in Bioshock 2 you actually have to go the reverse way. But okay. still 451. 
in um, what was it? System Shock four five one. I think Irrational Games was the ones that made that up. Well, mm -hmm. either that or Lick Looking Glass Studio. Yeah, the predecessors of Arcane, I believe. Yeah. Let's see. Dr. Govani's journal, second day, month of Earth, 1852. I've lived in Dunwall most of my life, surviving even the dreaded rat plague 15 years ago. I remember uh, people fighting and killing each other over half an empty uh, elixir flask. I dealt with housebreakers repeatedly back then and ultimately decided to sell my house at Clavering in favor of a more secure location. Surely I won't be disturbed anymore, living so close to Dunwall Tower itself. In some days I've even seen the Empress riding, in, uh, riding by in a carriage. Once already I uh, thought I spied the Royal Protector on a nearby rooftop, watching the street, uh, a street altercation below. So I feel safer now. I have less space here but should still be able to conduct my experiments without fearing the loss of my any expensive uh, lab equipment or the funding uh, my work so dearly depends upon. Wait. Is this the guy who? I remember Clavering Square. There was a real. There was a big multi-story house that we could actually break into. Is this? I don't know. Is this the, this guy's new digs? And Apparently. we broke in again. It doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter how we break in. But seriously, where, where would we have normally found that code then? Uh, try the painting. Uh, wait, wait. I just sort of noticed something about the painting. Why is it drawn like this? Well, you've been looking at you've been looking at her ass instead of looking at her face. Yeah, the, the, look like they put a lot of effort under her bum, which makes me a bit <sighs> awkward. Like, really? Yeah, nineteenth century smut. <laughs> uh... <sighs> Wait, I'll have a look over there. Oh, come on. You are really bad at this stealth, man. I want to point out, there's got to be like an insurrection, mostly because... Wait, when the fuck did we swamp Empresses? And I'm pretty sure that this uh, Emily has been uh, very good to her people. Another safe? Yeah, so there's gonna be questions. Yeah. At the very least. Damn you! Yeah. Come on. One of you try. She's Not that fast. Oh, great. I can shoot them. At this point, I'm pretty sure we fucked up the stealth enough. As long as we don't kill too much, <laughs> we can make it through. And yeah, this would have been a this would have been a pain to sneak through, anyways. It seems. Anybody? Show yourself. Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Yeah. being quiet. Okay, one we can take on. Scaring me. Never mind. Bye bye. Run. That. No and off we go. Pretty sure I saw someone. <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure you're Anyone half here? blind. <laughs> Where they jump in surprise. Uh, it won't be uh, the old. best uh, surprise jump that we had. So, there's some kind of shitstorm happening here in Dunwall. The old man's been carried off to who knows Oh, hello. Where. I'm out of money for any more operations. Just... Lady, you want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down uh, in the south. Uh, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton. But Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. 
There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? I think we should leave. <laughs> uh, yeah, there. Typically, there'd be stuff for us to find, but yeah, we we already spent like half of this stream reading books and such. And I thought I thought this was Billy from uh, the Whalers at first, but. <laughs> no, <don't> have... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yes. What was that? Nothing. He's had a cough. Uh, that sounds more like a, you were to try to insinuate something cough, not a regular cough. Oh, hello. Now they have this uh, assault, non lethal, stealth. Okay, now they have a bit of a graph with this. And yeah, overall chaos low. That is what we want. Since, well, low chaos is basically the good playthrough. High chaos is basically the evil playthrough. It took you 55 minutes just to get to the end of the long day in Dunwall. <laughs> they found one of the bodies, apparently. Okay, there, weren't, there weren't any runes or outsider shrines because we don't have access to yeah, well, outsider powers yet. Or void powers, no blueprints, and we missed a painting, it seemed. How much you want to bet it was the smut painting? <laughs> Good chance, I'm not, probably. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. And special actions that m or might have an effect later down the line. Coin of the Realm. Took whatever gold you could carry from the Dunball Tower safe emergency reserves. Uh, robbed the gold uh, safe of Dr. Galvani, a natural philosopher from the time of the Rat Plague. Locked Mortimer Ramsey in the safe room with a fortune in gold and a month's worth of food and water. Okay. So he's gonna be there a while. Yep. Yeah. Uh, bloody uh, heck. Hopefully this doesn't take long enough for him to start trying to eat the gold. <laughs> Imagine uh, just we try to we finally finish the game. Emily's name is cleared. We go up and he's dead and he has a gold bar in his mouth. Ain't gold poisoning a thing? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Oh, yards. A strange visit. Ah, cool boat. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels... Odd. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can guess where this is going. The door was open at least. Uh, wait, it's something wrong with the mirror. What is this place? Where am I? Uh, it, it's, it's a black mirror. I'm guessing that's a bit of a ref or that, that might be a bit of a reference to well the black mirror and uh no it's not it's just the game isn't advanced enough for reflections because I'm pretty sure we ran into mirrors that didn't have reflections in the original game hmm. not sure oh, we even ran into really any closer. mirrors watching yeah anytime you walk into a bathroom there was a freaking mirror there Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise, Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. 
Do you want the power of the outsider or not? Okay. We may need the powers. The, yeah. <laughs> we are already uh, shit at stealth without powers. We are we need we need the reinforcement. Yeah. It burns from the inside. I'm like I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories. The truth, they're far true. Reach. Press to rapidly pull yourself forwards. Okay, so they renamed Blink then. Well, no, okay, this Blink. is more of a, a leap. You know, Incredible. A, yeah, it is a grab, like a sort of tentacle. Yeah, not to mention, as far as I'm aware, this is, this is actually visible. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. It's... Did you just describe it as a tentacle? There we go. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's another wine you want to un <laughs> uncork. Or can. The heck is this? This is looking a lot more eldritch than in the previous game. And again, they have a much better engine running this as well. Oh, hello there. What is that? It feels familiar. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but... Somewhere else. Only the last of my essence. With you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. And I will guide you when I can. Yes, that? that confirms it. It's the Empress's heart. So yeah. the last game, we had the Empress heart with us all the time? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you could say we were near her heart, or... Yeah, that, that doesn't make oh. as much sense as a deer, yeah, as a joke. No, it does yeah. not. We were holding oh. her heart. No, that doesn't either. Also, boo to me, and boo to you, Helion. It's... Oh, yeah, we were close God. to our hearts. <laughs> that was the wording I was looking for. You get your bombed. Oh, hello. Who is Delilah, really? How could she? I don't understand. Let's see. There are no stars in the sky here. There is no sky. Um, who's Try fish pointing looks? at Delilah? She should Let's... be here. No, yeah, she's just no, responding she... to the area, not uh, the people. Okay. So we have an we assassin, have... the duke, the duke, rich dude, possible gang member. And Delilah, who somehow get the fuck out of a painting. Yeah. <laughs> then again, Mario did it plenty of times. I'm guess yeah, but Mario I had wonder stars. if they crossed. <laughs> I, I wonder if they ever crossed paths. Oh gods! No. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, 
She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. The world! Da 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 da. Da da da. Da da da. When I was 10 I years answered. old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, I think you're in for quite a ride with this one. Yep. And hello. Bone charms. Yeah, bone charms uh, give little buffs. Oh, they've been changed quite a bit. Duelist lock. They, mo they look more like earrings now. Let's have a look. Oh. And, oh. And I'm guessing they aren't born as earrings because I don't think Emily has the space for five of those things. Let's see, Duelist Lock. Bullet packs have a slight chance of containing plus one. Now, bullet. Sometimes supernatural powers consume no mana. Yep, we're definitely putting that on. And we might as well put on the other. See, even though we're probably not making much use of it. Let's see. Just all of the stuff that we found so far. Travel Lock. Okay. Uh, we're starting a new year, maybe 1852 will be less boring than 1851. I can't wait for Wyman to get back to Dunwall. We'll go out to the abandoned mansion I discovered the other night, at the edge of Rodshore. Uh, maybe I'll have time to turn it into a scary haunted house beforehand, using sheets and hiding an old audiograph upstairs. Wyman would love that. Uh, we'll get spooked and hold hands screaming and laughing. Come on, Emily, you promised to be more serious and uh, to listen at court. You're already planning your next escape. Let's start this diary again. Proposes for a new decree on whale oil rationing and distribution. The anniversary. That time of year again. The anniversary of my mother's death. And there's no real time for reflection though. It's all security protocols, menus, guest lists, and it's impossible to slip out at night. I feel like a caged bird. You've already got me memorizing this year's speech. It's endless. Uh, would it be so terrible if I just said what I remember about her? That wink she gave me even as she was scolding me after I was caught climbing the statue of my grandfather. The sound of her footsteps as she paced at night. And the time we shared a cabin on a boat trip to Driscoll. Or the time she agreed to let Corvo teach me to fish, but then had to pull a hook from my arm. <laughs> now that would be a speech. Okay, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. they're nice. Title drop. Dishonored. My father is lost, turned to stone by Delilah. Those words don't even seem real. Witchcraft, something I would never have believed possible. But now I have to believe in it, uh, so I can believe uh, that it can be undone. Delilah claims to be my aunt, the rightful heir. Truth or lies. All I know is that she used magic to take my throne, aided by that weasel Duke Abel. Uh, they must have been working on their plan for years, buying disloyalty with promises, even Ramsey, captain of the city watch. Uh, planting in everyone's mind the idea that my father and I could be responsible for those murderous killings. That one or both of us were the crown killer. I'm not in a trusting mood, but Megan Foster uh, says she knows Anton Sokolov, our old royal physician, and she helped him he escape the coup. Uh, so she's all I have right now. We're sailing for Sakonis. My Dunwell, my home, is no longer safe for me. 
But I never really was safe. I never really will be. The sooner I get that thought uh, through my skull, the better. Okay. A letter from Emily? Why, madam, by now you must have heard about the coup in Dunwall. Don't worry, I'm safe, hiding far away with friends. I implore you, don't try anything reckless, and don't go back to Crystal. Stay in Morley, there's nothing you can uh, do against Delilah. I can't say I have a solid plan yet, but you know how well I improvise in desperate situations. Remember the time I kept a straight face during the uh, watch officer's report? All the while sitting at my desk without pants? <laughs> if I survive that, I'll get through all this. For now, I need to stay hidden and act alone. Trust me, we'll see each other again. I promise. Emily. Okay. This is a nice looking thing. Yeah. Here's a guitar, alright. Yeah, travel log. Oh, okay. Edge of the world? Oh, okay, so at, at interacting with the travel logs, you're probably going to expand the travel log. Yeah. Avoid it. This time it wasn't a dream. I've read about the void and the outsider imagine and yeah, about and the outsider imagine them. Now I've seen these wonders for myself. Strange doesn't begin to cover it. The outsider has terrible eyes, black on black. He offered me something. I know these gifts come with a price, but how could I refuse? This power might give me the edge I need to defeat Delilah and Duke Abel. I'll worry about paying the cost later. And what price will I pay for uh, his other gift? My mother's beloved voice, trapped in the strangest contraption. It was both comforting and chilling to be able to talk to her again. And yet it's not entirely the person I knew anymore. This thing, the heart, is there and not there. I have to focus in a new way to even see it. We arrived at the southernmost tip of the empire. Strange fragrances all around. Salt, fish, spice. I don't know how to blend and in here. I don't know what to eat and where to go, but this is where my father was born. So part of me belongs here too. And these are my people, where they were until my throne was stolen by Delilah. I'm coming for you, Delilah, with my new powers. All I need now is a plan. Okay. You still got some time to go. And yeah, this time the wall is there. <laughs> Good to know. Would be rather shoddy craftsmanship if the, if, if the wall was gone here as well. Limited resources. It's not what you're used to living in a palace, but it's all uh, the coin I could scrape up. Anton and I operated on a tight budget, and guess what? Now you do too. If it's beneath you, pick up whatever valuables you find along your way. We'll need ammo and resources to take down the people behind the coup. Uh, hidden all over the city, there are underground black market shops. Look for a symbol depicting two hands, which means there's a shop nearby. Follow the signs, they'll guide you. Buying from the black market is against the law, but it could make the difference against the Duke's military. Sokolov was working on this crossbow as a gift for you. If you need it modified, those shops can help with that as well. Megan. I thought her name was Megan. Yeah, I'm reading it with the A included. But yeah, that, uh, if it's right or wrong, I don't know. Yeah, let's keep it to Megan. Maintenance list. Repair the things that got busted up in Anton's room where he was taken. Yeah, or when he was taken. It's been weeks now. No scratch that, not until I bring him back home. And it's as a show of faith that he will be coming back. Unblock the storage door. It looks like something fell on the other side. I really need to sell the stuff locked up in there to make some coin. Pay the pork tax and the look the other way fees to those grand guard bastards before they wonder who my passenger is this time. I'll do it when I get the money. Okay, so she's been working as a smuggler. And yeah, something is blocking that. There will be valuables there, so we'll want to get in there. And the main room is that way. This is leading... Okay, out. So we, can, we might be able to get in through a porthole or something. Or one of the vents. Okay. This is quite a sight. From the... From the Duke's... Uh, <clears throat> from the, the uniforms South. of the... Oh. My father's birthplace. From the... 
the uniform of the Duke's men, I was taking a bit of a guess that they, this area was going to be Africa-like. Uh, I'm guessing it's a bit... I haven't actually seen much of Africa that's not been on TV and such. So I don't know how accurate this would be, so I'm guessing it might be a mix between Africa and South America, maybe? Yeah, I think it's more like a sp Spanish or something, or Mexico. Since, yeah, it, they have that those kind of uniforms. Mm -hmm. And the name sounds like uh, Latin. There we go. Put that away. And then we just loot. <laughs> Reflection on my journey to the Pandician continent, number three. I By gotta Anton go in and have a drink. Be right back. Okay. Right. Let's see. Chapter 15. At dawn, I set out with the group that foraged east and concluded two other natural philosophers and four crewmen. We used blades to clear the vegetation that quickly uh, that grew thickly there, and slowly made our way uh, away from the shore up a steep incline. Our purpose was to gather samples of the native plants for our research journals. Pardon? <clears throat> I found myself pressing leaves and stems between pages and taking copious notes on several species of flora I surmised no human had ever set eyes on previously. And suddenly, a young Mr. Gravitz from the Academy began hopping about and screaming wildly. Chance had bade him uh, pick up an unfortunate place to step. Uh, aggressive ant-like creatures swarmed him from below. In so many, uh, so many in number were his tiny attackers that we quickly lost sight of him under uh, their onslaught. We finally managed to pull Gravitz from the insects, acquiring painful welts where he had come, uh, where we had come to his aid. Mr. Gravitz, however, was bitten stung as it would eventually discover so many times he was barely recognizable swollen up onto deformity over every inch of his person moaning like a sick bull he expired before we could carry him back to the beach luckily some of the creatures still stung to him providing me with precious samples oh for law Anton yeah this game gonna remind me remind me of uh, shitty people like again as this soldier spoke about earlier. I don't know... Yeah. I, I, I dislike the shitty people like that. And so... And so... What was his... What was his name again? The professor? Yeah, uh, Sokolov. Anton Sokolov. I almost called him Sultan for some reason. Probably because I referenced to the other than that, but yeah. I, I still dislike that damn character. Is he talking to someone? Hmm. Okay, we have a she, room nearby. I had to say about that woman in there. Uh, I also forgot her name. she had been through hmm. stuff. Yeah, she missing hello. one eye and one piece of her arm and I got ultimately nervous of the rats. Uh, the, <laughs> yeah. The rats are no longer a problem, I hope. I forget what area of the Empire they came from, but I'm not sure if it was Sir Conan. Uh, they were not from the Empire, they were from, they were from the, the other continent. Now, I, th I think they were brought over from a different part of the Empire, not the Panician continent, which is still a big unknown. Let's see, trying to fix the secondary engine. Anton, your idea of improving the head gasket ceiling uh, with a guano coating is the worst you've ever had. I'll make you sleep in the engine room if you don't fix your mess by tomorrow. Uh, Megan, if all inventors were as delicate and short-tempered as you are, you and I would still be panning around in carved out logs. Now, uh, Megan, I made some mulberry cake. It's my own recipe, improved by Tivian spices. I left it in the galley. Anton, where are you, old fool? I hope nobody really hurts you. I'll find you. I swear, I miss you. Uh, <laughs> so she does care. No. Uh, always nice yeah, to see you. Also, it. if the engine explodes, that is not on us for once. Uh, Welcome what back, by the way. Welcome back. Uh, if the oh, engine sorry. explodes, then it's Sokolov's tinkering fault. Yeah. 
Did I? Yeah, are you through here? Not this time. I think you did. He just doesn't want to admit it. Wait, what? I said hello. Wait. Well, why do you ask if I got scared? Because I literally showed up once and literally you got scared and then you got scared again a different time that I showed up and once I said boo and you screamed in terror. Wait, scream? Uh, wait. Oh wait, yeah, I did sc fake scream once. I thought that was obvious fake scream. Yeah, it was, but still. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, I did not get scared now. Start briefing. Uh, oh, bri I thought it said briefing. Alright. It's gonna explain part it's of gonna it. be a bitch so trying to smoke with one hand. Here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There were reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide, but Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Okay, so this ship is going to act like a bit of a hub, I'm guessing. Yeah, and pretty here much. we have Jackass number one. What was Mortimer Ramsey doing in Karnaka? Okay. Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Does does the Mortimer Ramsey almost look like Gordon Ramsey? <laughs> a bit. I mean, I'm guessing it's the hair and the ears, maybe. And, and, and it's raw. Face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I'm just imagining Gordon Ramsay stuck in a <laughs> stuck in that room for a month with only canned food. God. Uh, maybe they'll find him when he's screaming, "It's fucking raw!" every freaking day. Or maybe he'll start a rumor about a. The raw ghost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. I want to Luca a bell. But Corvo served under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. And here we have this bitch again. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. Let's see. Crown Killer strikes again. Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of em em Empress Emily Caldwin has met uh, with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle, notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Boyle recently wrote an opinion piece harshly criticizing the Empress for what he called her slipshod style of governance and her willful neglect of duties. Authorities aren't convinced the crown killer is the culprit, given the gruesome details left at the crime scene. And yeah, seeing as they signed their name on the floor in the victim's blood, probably. As Her Majesty's most outspoken <laughs> adversaries imagine, fall one by one. Imagine, I imagine the crown killer just grabbing like one of the victim's fingers, dipping it, dipping it under blood, and writing, "It was Emily Caldwin on the floor." <laughs> Yeah, that would be too obvious a thing for being a yeah, a frame job. Let's yeah. see. 
in the turn. As Her Majesty's most outspoken adversaries fall one by one to this notorious assassin, we boldly ask, is it now the duty of the royal protector to murder all who dare to criticize the throne? And let's see, Dr. Hypatia. No one should perish in the mines. This Dr. Hypatia. Or Hypatia. She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. Hmm. And how is she tied into all of this? And also, also I'd say this. Sorry. Uh, I'd say this. If you were to tell me that we go to a place called Ademeyer, I would refuse. Hey, you want to go to a place called Ademeyer Institute? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she is now behind the, the Manatonic. Also, I must say, uh, Anton Sokolov in an insane asylum. Yeah, I can see him blending in easily. Yeah, oh, gods. So the crown killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The, the murders had a calculated effect. Let's see. Ghastly murders, several prominent citizens killed in the most gruesome way, hooded suspect still at large. Uh, authorities describe the murders as unusually vicious. A strange hooded figure has been spotted at each crime scene. The public is urged to be watchful of any and all suspicious behavior. Report the nearest guard post if in doubt. 15,000 coins. Offer to deter. Remember, even the stranger in the pub could be our a suspect. And here we have Sokolov. Sokolov seems so much gone, older now. He's gone bald. I mistook him for an orc. It, it looks like it has a tusk. And this must be the local area. It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. Let's see, a con conservatory, uh, Syria Gardens, Bati uh, Bat Bat yeah, Batista Mining District, oh. Overlook. Yeah, uh, this is very Latin, uh, like so, like Spain, Italy, Mexico, so. We'll have to Lady see the steps. Oh. Hmm? No, look, look back in the map. Uh, yeah, there. Okay, yeah. Leyenda steps, Robledo woodlands. Uh, Quintana, Quintana Gates. Uh, I think that last one, Shin, Shin. Okay, could you could you zoom in on left up right uppermost? Hey there. Seen that? Seen? Seen that? I peak? I think I don't know. The age is throwing me off. It's Cinderella Peak. Yeah. Uh, Okay, yeah, yeah. A lot of Spanish sounding, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. And I'm I'm taking a bit of a stab here, but I'm guessing if we find Sokolov that we'll be sticking his ass in here to work on upgrades or, and stuff. <clears throat> Wait. I think you need to rephrase that. What, was I looking too much at the vice when speaking about his <laughs> yeah, ass and sticking it in here? You did! Always you tinkering, did. painting, or living life with gusto. That wasn't entirely unintentional. <laughs> hey, kid, you ever seen a man's wall to the vice? No. Never join oh. again. Oh, God. <laughs> Pair of soda? Oh, yeah, it's empty. Wait, what was it called? Pantilla Pear? Pear Pantilla soda. Pear soda. Oh. So, Can't you ever a drink a pear? What the uh, fuck is that on the stuff. side? Is the sun trying to kill you now? Look down at the bottle. Hmm? Oh god, I'm... Okay, look to the left. There are dots. Yeah, I, I do see a bit of light flickering. Okay. Yeah. Mulberry mead. That looks like a milk can. Okay, always nice to see heat effects like this. And so, how much you want to bet that the that uh, the cows 
in this world are also el eldritch beings. We, yeah, we'll have to see. We sort of guessed that there should be seen some frightening heads from the old game, but only the heads. But wait, are we going to see them live? A reasonable chance, I think. I get the feeling we'll be globe trotting and uh, trotting a bit. Uh oh. Let's see. The Shindere gift, a study by Amora Clipswitch. Okay, that's a bit of a name, Clipswitch. On the effects of the winds on, on the Karnakan landmass and resulting economic positions. Whale oil, liquid power. How astonishing that within in these in those beasts inside the uh, oil harvested, uh, inside the oil har harvested along with their flesh, was enough power to see the owls through these uh, uh, tumultuous years. It all seemed limitless, but now the lights begin to dim. Our fisher folk say the great beasts are increasingly rare. Not all places will suffer this loss equally, fellow uh, natural philosophers. Karnakar has a nat natural feat has a unique feature. The cleft in Shindere Peak through which the winds are channeled and amplified. As whale oil begins to run short, with at the cost of finding the remaining Leviathans escalating beyond the worth of the oil itself, Karnakar will find itself ascendant among the Isles. Yeah, there was already talk about the oil running out in Dishonored 1. And, okay, that's locked. I'm guessing that's Megan's personal quarters then. So yeah, it would make sense that they'd start looking at alternative sources. And Yeah, we already saw the windmills on the way in. Yeah, impressive windmills, I'd say. Look, they looked very modern. Yeah, like steampunk is... Uh... Steampunk windmills based on the real ones, or well, based on real power mills. We are running a bit short on the time, so I don't think we'll start with uh, this mission. But let's continue exploring a bit longer to find stuff like this. A reflection on my journey to... Okay, this is number four, chapter 16. Two dead on our first day on the continent, but the new world was not sated and would have one more. None other than the captain himself. His group had found a cluster of small rodents, much like rabbits or prairie moles. The lure of fresh meat provided too much a temptation for our good uh, captain, who had dined on scant fish and the same rations as the crew all these, these dreary months. He was able to grab one of the creatures with his bare hands, but the docile beasts were not so tame after all. Yeah, having allowed the captain to pick it up, the creature became enraged and delivered zev several stings from a gland hidden in its tail. The captain complained of heat and itching where the stings had penetrated, but insisted they press on. He died of asphyxiation within a quarter hour. That's quick. It was suddenly obvious to me that this rate of attrition, yeah, at this rate of attrition, we would not only fail to sufficiently research the continent, but we might soon lack enough crew to make the uh, return voyage. Something had to be done to save the venture, and so I immediately declared myself captain. Uh, <clears throat> on my orders, the remaining crew kept to the relative safety of the beach for the duration of the week. Though I, spent, uh, though I sent two young academy students armed with nets and cages to fetch a live uh, sample of the prairie mole that so swiftly killed the captain, at first, uh, as first and foremost ours was a research expedition. Is there anything in this fucking world that isn't an Eldritch Abomination in some way or another. So, and this Pennsylvania, it almost starts to feel like it's this worst version of Australia and South America built, melted into one. Hmm. The, the mental image I mean, I'm getting at the description of that creature as freaking platypus. <laughs> A platypus? What's that hat? Carry the platypus! Oh god, snow! Uh, apparently, uh, platypus have a, a stinger hidden somewhere. I don't I don't remember where. I think it's in their claws or something. The yeah, they're yeah. actually venomous. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, extremely. So, if you see a platypus, leave it alone. Yeah, it'll either sting you and poison you, or it'll put on a hat and kick your fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can pet, pet a zoo one, but only with the care, the one that takes care of them nearby. And just pet the, 
If you were gonna be a plant, just just pet the head and leave the rest alone. Okay, I'm guessing this see is where she sleeps. Yeah. Yeah. If you just see a wild plant bus, don't go near it. Leave it alone. Who the hell is this walking corpse? Ain't that you? The wall seems so far away. In a few years. I'll come back soon, Father. I promise. Let's see. Red Rule Whaler counting. Six songs out, 32 coin, docking and late uh, fee. I'm telling her. Eight of songs, 25 out, Fabian Cargo, Knight, Piccolo and Tate. Uh, eight of songs, out 50, Crust Removal on Hull, Shipyard. Ninth of songs, out 20, New Sexton, Carberry Estate. Tenth of song, five, Gave Out Coins, Mudlarks. That's it. 10th, 25 for food. 12th, Anton C. Sick pills. That's <laughs> a carry on strain. The 13th of song, 25 for matches and rope. 16th, 40 for the Night Fairy of Cargo. Uh, in, sold rockfish. <laughs> the 19th for oil and slime removal. And for food again. Okay. So yeah, she she isn't heartless. Okay. We have just a little bit more to explore here, and then I'd say we call it. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this was yeah th this was the ship we saw out of the window. Yeah. Do we want to? we see Anton? Probably. So I'm guessing our first meeting with him will be in a freaking straight jacket. Which we might want to keep on him. Imagine just oh. at top Sokolov going, I was kidnapped by ninjas! Ninjas! You... And everybody of the asylum's like, sure, buddy, sure. You soon know who that's Anton and Soko are the same person. <laughs> I forgot Anton was his first name. <laughs> it's true, sure, it's popped up multiple times now. Anton Sokolov. His name's Anton. Okay, this is nice that they allow you to look at these things again. Oh, that's always a good quality of uh, life feature. For now, yeah. wait, wait, do let's you go back here. Yeah, I, I saved. Oh, good. I get the feeling we are certainly going to enjoy this game. Most definitely. <laughs> Oh, so, I try insane over how the amount of shitty people. Well, at least we know that Corvo and Emily are decent people. Yep. At least yeah. so. The rest we'll have to see. I mean, I guess most of the people that worked under Emily were decent, and then they got killed by those that weren't. Yeah. Uh, Cut in uh, pieces by the, the slasher bots. So I have to say, uh, rogues in a grandfather clock. That's a new one. I guess that's what happens when you're bored and ten years old and have easy access to frogs. Yeah, plus you could say Cut. the old clock finally croaked. <laughs> oh god, no. Oh. <laughs> but for now, <laughs> you will have to call it. Uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with this because yeah, I, I fucked up on streaming this yesterday, so we were catching up. So yeah, tell you what happened yesterday. <laughs> I'd forgotten to install the freaking game because I was distracted with job interview stuff. <laughs> you could just put the game on to install on the background and then worry about the job thing. Uh, yeah. Might be the plan, perhaps, but he may have forgotten it. Yep. <laughs> also, here's a random thing I want to tell the world. Oh? Don't buy Max Payne 3. On Steam. If you can get it on the Xbox 360 or the PS3, get it. But on Steam, it's gonna force you to get the Rockstar's game launcher, and if your computer is a potato, 
trust me, you will not be able to run the game because the Rockstar Game Launcher apparently demands even more of your computer than the fucking game itself. Yeah. Well, luckily, my computer isn't a potato. Yeah. Well, want to find out? I'm not pretty good anyway. in deep fryer. <laughs> But anyways, that was Dish on a Red Part 2. Okay. Well, yeah. Part Tomorrow one. we'll be continuing with this. But until then, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially to Kier and Ron. You're most welcome, my friend. Yeah, fun. Uh, you can join in tomorrow if you'd like again. Where basically, whenever you want, you can join in on the chat. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. See Be ya. well. See ya. And for everyone else, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for rats. Also, do not...